soon. It's not about payback, man. Then what is it about? All hail, Lord Eli! I warn you, this is your final chance. Who sent you? Was it my brother? like he's leaving me with a choice, is it? I've always honored our faith, preached the good word, and welcomed lost sheep into our flock. That's it. I give up. He will never learn the error of his sinful ways. He's brought this on himself by gorging himself on junk food like a glutton, indulging in carnal pleasures, and selling drugs to washed up junkies like, like yourself. Wastrels, fornicators, heathens, the lot of them. You people disgust me. Soon our most glorious day shall dawn. The skies will be rent asunder with a deafening roar. The harbingers will descend and dispense holy, righteous justice. We will cast off our frail skin, flee our prison of the flesh once and for all. Soon there will be neither man nor machine, just eternal life. Do you really think that fat slob Johnny of all people will be the one to bring forth this new dawn? Trust me, Declan. This discussion is far from over. Justice will be served one way or another. I know there's something you haven't told me. Who sent you? Was it my brother? Y yeah! Of course. What the? Hey, that's mine. Give it back, like right now. Seriously, not cool. That's a memento from my ex. I mean, what would you say if I just marched into your workplace and stole everything that's not nailed down? This was a token of our love, you know? It's all I have left now. I'm a broken shell of a man. Yeah, you touch it, you buy it. We clear? Come on, don't leave me like hanging. Whatever, see if I care. I mean. Didn't want it back anyway. Didn't need it. Well, it's that age-old story, really. Boy meets girl, girl dumps boy. Everything goes to hell. Said she needed to find herself. Now nobody can find her at all. I heard a little rumor she's hooked up with that rich bastard, Lil Johnny and Port Nixon. I mean, I'd go there right now to check it out, but I've got too many enemies in that part of town. Maybe you could, I don't know, snoop around a bit? Awesome! I was hoping I could coax you into it. Oh, crap. I said that out loud, didn't I? I just really need some help. I'm freaking losing it here. Yeah, like the old harbor? That's where the shady punk-ass little Johnny sells his so-called drugs. I just can't stand that gassy sleazebag. I mean, have you heard those horror stories about the shit he gets up to in Terminal Z? Ew. Dude's like seriously depraved. Yeah, you touch it, you... Smell a new audio log? Come on over and show me. Hi, I'm Mr. Scrappy, your all-in-one rumor monger, information resource, and audiophile vendor. 
I'll scan every audio recording you have and reward you accordingly. So, what do you say? Fill me in on the latest gossip and I'll give you something even better in return. I'm not surprised you agreed. After all, I've studied your profile. All you need to do is bring me your audio recordings every once in a while for review. Since I'm in a generous mood, I'll compensate you with a couple of exclusive lost recordings. Here, the first ones on the house. Hello, I'm Kyle Baker. Oh, Baxter, sorry, sorry, Baxter. Can we do this one more time? I forgot my name again. Cut. Did you know that Blue Sparkle Diction is becoming a net? Blue Sparkle Diction? What the hell is Blue Sparkle Diction? It's Blue Sparkle Addiction, Mr. Baxter. Got it. Guess it was a problem with my diction, after all. Cut. This is ridiculous. The Creo Anti-Drug Foundation comes up with this trash. Mr. Baxter, we paid you in advance. Did you? You did. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, I must have spent the money on Blue Sparkle again. <laughs> Cut! Hugs defeat drugs? Who writes this button now? Right, okay. You wrote it yourself, Mr. Baxter. Could you please just do it one more time? Correctly this time? Honestly. What? You don't even know what you want. You can't direct an actor of my caliber like this. This is impossible. No, no, I won't do it. No money in the world is worth this agony. Welcome back, unknown stranger. So, how about sharing some information? You have collected 10 audio files. You have reached reward tier one. Great work. Enjoy listening. It's on the house. Nothing in this world is free. By accepting my help, you've already agreed to my terms of service. I'll give you all the information I have and sell everything I know about you to the highest bidder. It's a fair deal. Agreed? One second, I'll check my database. Have you heard about the Great Wall of Jericho? The governor had it erected to keep defrag at bay. At least, that's the official statement. Most of my clients believe they've isolated this place to sweep us under the rug. Literally and figuratively. Whatever that means, Check back in soon. I'll keep you in the loop. I will only say this once. The password is Keymaker. You'll know when to use it. This is Podshot, back from the dead for another season of film news, reviews, Behold and gossip Lord straight Eli. from the horse's mouth. Hi there. I'm your host, Dr. Phoenix Q. Rishbotter. This year, I'll be dedicating the... ...show to my favorite film series... ...Iron... ...Mouse. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Then what is it about? Now, There's no rules let's start with the no first movie. and best entry in an increasingly desperate string of box office disasters. To me, one thing was clear from the initial frame. This movie is literally perfect. Apart from the writing, and the score, and the lighting, and the props, and the list goes on. But the worst offender by far is the so-called acting. I mean, seriously, guys. Kyle Baxter as Iron Mouth? Who had the brilliant idea to cast this flabby old ham as a rodent of all things? This film is the cinematic equivalent of mouth droppings. Small, grimy, and well, leaves a bad aftertaste. And on that note, see you next week for my review of Iron Mouse 2. This is your final, final chance. Welcome to our humble chapel. They call me Brother Eli. I've been taking a lot of lost souls under my wing. My disciple Truman told me of your coming, but enough about me. Tell me about yourself. A hardened criminal, huh? Tell me, why did they arrest you? Yeah, I remember that crash all too well. Damn plane came down in the middle of Port Nixon. Almost took out our cathedral. The spark must have guided you to me. I know what a coincidence looks like, and this ain't one. The Alpha and Omega, the source of everything. The light that will bring about a new balance between man and machine. Just look around you. Its energy surrounds us wherever we go. Glad you asked. I'm in deep water. Supplying our fellow men with salvaged goods is getting harder by the minute. Everything I've accomplished is at stake. And the biggest threat is right here. Inside my own ranks. I've got a bit of a family issue going on. My brother, little Johnny, has always been in charge of Port Nixon's streets. After the nanomachines appeared, the outsiders came to drive us away. Our time had come. A real chance to prove our gospel's truth. We won. But Johnny's warped mind wouldn't give up the substance we used to expand our minds and bodies. The blue sparkle. Now he's nothing but a drug lord. Someone has to bring him to justice. I'd confront him myself. But there'd be hell to pay if anybody saw me interfering, as it were. Only an outsider can take care of this mess. So, you have business sense as well. Good. You'll need it in these trying times. Don't worry about your reward. You'll be taken care of. That's a promise. Excellent. My associate downstairs will let you pass through the harbor gate now. Report to me once you put things to rest. Port Nixon is one of the oldest districts in Jericho. The whole city grew from that area. Nowadays, it's a hotbed for crime and violence. That's why our church is so important. We are Port Nixon's beacon. It's shining light. We bring hope and optimism. Or at least we did until little Johnny corrupted our holy cause. Who? Him? He's just one of my little brother's pushers. I caught him red-handed with a stash of drugs. I've been trying to make him come clean for hours, but he's been, well, shall we say, rather stubborn. He'll change his mind soon enough. Sinners always do. To be honest, we've benefited a lot from his supplies. But now that I know how he's earned his dirty money, I have no choice but to wash my hands of him. We've given him more than enough chances. He's hiding out in an old terminal in Jericho's Harbor District, Port Nixon. The methods you use don't matter to me. All I care about are the results. His sinfulness must come to an end, once and for all. May the spark guide you. Welcome back. I've been pr- Who? May the spark guide you. Shut up, Declan. We're not done here yet.
right side. You'll be on the hunt. You're out of luck, kiddo. I now. You can pass. Evacuate Torb Nixon, they said. Use force if necessary. <laughs> yeah, right. These people don't want to be saved. They killed everyone. I'm the last <laughs> survivor. But we found something at the harbor. Something big. Flight 221. And there was a survivor. We lost the girl. Failed our mission. I'll have my revenge. Just you wait. You goddamn bastards.
Come on, just try it. It'll expand your consciousness. But what if there's no going back? My brother had a dose of blue sparkle once. A few weeks later, we found him dead in the gutter. That's what your mom tells you. Because she needs a scapegoat. Because she can't face the fact she drove him to kill himself. But don't worry. This will make the pain go away. Forever. You can stop whenever you want. Okay. But just this once. Hey! Can you hear me, morons? Who turned the damn power back on? I shut this man bay down for a reason, you good for nothing gas bags! What? Trying to be a wise guy, are you? We'll see how witty you are after I've strangled you with your own vocal cords!